The best part of this game is not just that this guy can punch and kick people off the screen, but that they don't even bend or like look like they're in pain or just splatter everywhere. I mean, he's got to be hitting them really hard to make them just take off like that. Last battle for the Sega Genesis from 1989. A side-scrolling arcade-style action game taking you through four levels of amazing mediocrity. Now, you have the look of a hero. It's the purple hair. That's the look of a hero. I said this game has four levels of mediocrity. What I meant is that it has four chapters of amazing mediocrity, each with many levels, increasing the amount of mediocrity that you get to face in this game. Although the story is quite entertaining, all is not well in the world. A great war has devastated the land, and a nefarious power has established an empire where the good people like slaves. Wait a second, is that a typo? They like slaves. I'm reading this correctly. They like slaves. They're not like, I mean, are they, are they like slaves? Is the word they're looking for here enslaved? Are the good people enslaved? I'm going to assume it's a typo because if he's, if Er, er Zach, that's this guy's name because he says here, but there was hope the mighty Er Zach and his two companions, Alyssa and Max, banded together to reclaim their homeland. Okay, the people must be enslaved. All your typo are belong to us. Hey, that guy must work out. You know, it would have been better if it said power up in a really cheesy voice. Just like it does in Altered Beast, another Sega side-scrolling arcade-style adventure game released in 1989. Personally, I don't care for Last Battle all that much, but if you really like Altered Beast and these kind of cheesy, just awkward side-scrollers, then you might dig Last Battle, at least for a couple hours. Because the gameplay's not that exciting, but damn is it cheesy and funny at times. You uh, don't need to look much further than the back of the packaging where it says, in the mood to punch, kick, and knock the daylights out of a bunch of wicked thugs? If the answer is yes, be prepared to receive your own fair share of hard knocks because these goons are tough. And you'll need brains as well as brawn, since an intricate maze of passages leads you closer and closer to victory. Passages which you'll have to find. Just watch out for axes randomly flying in the air. Although you can punch and kick them, which doesn't make a whole lot of sense. Now he's being rained on by cabbage. Your R R Zack pronounced Air Zack. Oh, so I've been pronouncing it. Well, who cares? A renegade with a dream to free your people from a life of oppression. See, they must be enslaved. I knew it. I, I knew I could spot a typo in a 1989 Sega Genesis manual. Isn't that the music from Golden Axe? Well, the one interesting thing about the game is you do sort of choose your own path through these different levels, and you have to fight end bosses every now and then, and then waves of mindless enemies. It's, uh, it's really not all that terribly interesting, but the writing is just awesome. So it might be worth playing for you just to, just to see where this ridiculous story goes. The levels themselves are definitely a bit dull and repetitive, but punching and kicking people off the screen is always fun. They do get harder as you play through the game, but then you run into these end bosses, which are just dull as dirt, and basically just require you to memorize where they're moving and you know, when to punch them, which, which can be said for really any end boss in, in these side-scrolling style of video games, but this one feels like it lacks any randomness whatsoever. And on your way through the game, if you are defeated by an end boss, you have no extra lives, so you just have to then play your way through these boring levels all over again. Not a terrific game. The first time you play Last Battle may be the last time you play Last Battle. Now the good news is the game is extremely affordable, pretty cheap actually, and easy to find. So if you played it as a kid and you want to relive the experience, you'll have no problem obtaining a copy of Last Battle. 
Although it may not be quite as exciting as you remember it. The further you get, you know, you'll be fighting some of the same enemies, except there'll be arrows coming at you from the side of the screen at the same time. It's a fun look back at that first wave of Sega Genesis games back when the console was brand new, but not nearly as playable and enjoyable as something like The Revenge of Shinobi or Altered Beast. It does have nice packaging though. Last battle. Yeah, apparently uh, hanging close to that guy when he uses his super punch is a bad idea. Anyway, check this out. All is not well with the world. A great war had devastated the land and a nefarious power had established an empire where the good people were treated like slaves. The instruction manual says where the good people like slaves. Proofreading, guys, proofreading. There should be a downloadable update to fix this paper instruction manual.